Hello, welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. So I just wanted to do a very quick video and kind of give you an update on my whole, let me get my plant in here, <laughs> my whole donation and as you know, in a, in a bunch of my videos over the past couple of months, I started tracking how many times I said the word, um, <laughs> and I was putting aside a certain amount of money for each time that I said that. And I would tally that up at the end of the month and do a donation through my company because they also do a donation match. So the most recent for November was for the Animal Cancer Foundation. I will pop up a picture on the screen right here showing what I ended up donating for the month. So for November, I ended up with just $10 because I have been doing a much better job at not saying that dreaded word. <laughs> but because I didn't say it very much and I did have a couple videos where I didn't say it at all, I decided to double that amount. So I did donate $20 instead of just the 10 and then my company matches that $20. So they actually got 40. Now, because I've been doing a much better job and really I just kind of started it to poke a little bit of fun at myself. I decided that because of, any of my fellow YouTubers will know that the editing process for the videos and everything like that can get a little time consuming. So I kind of, I don't want to have to edit a whole video and then kind of go back and make sure that I don't, that I didn't miss the word or that I'm calculating it right. And it, it's just a lot to kind of try to keep track of along with doing the editing and doing the uploading and besides my regular, you know, Monday through Friday job and everything. So just his kind of, with the holidays, it's just, has kind of been a lot to keep track of. So I have been putting my counter or the money that I was putting aside for that into my savings challenge book. So this book is from Crafted by Free on Etsy and she has a YouTube channel which is budgeting with free and I have all of my savings challenges in here. So I took out the money that I donated for the Animal Accounts, uh, Cancer Foundation, so that was for the month of November. So I am actually going to take this out and we are not going to do this any longer. However, I do still like giving and donating the money and getting that company match, so I don't want to stop doing that part of it. So my plan is whenever I do my budget breakdown, the money that I would be putting aside for the savings challenges, I want to find J bucks and put those into kind of my giving or what would what this used to go for, what this counter used to go for. So whatever awareness that I choose for that month the money that I would have put aside for this instead of counting this and keeping track of all that, I'm going to find J bucks and put those aside whenever I can and find, you know, find them. And that will be my new giving donation. I also kind of feel like I'm, I've gotten rid of a big debt or a very high interest debt that was kind of driving me crazy. And I kind of feel like I can put a little bit more towards savings challenges as well. I have smaller amounts for credit card debt. The school loans are still on pause. And I think that they will be through to about June. I think they extended it because of the lawsuits and things like that. So I kind of feel like I can put a little bit more towards it. So I'll probably start with dollars and maybe go up to $5 because all of the dollar bills or all of the money denominations have the little A, I think it's A through L 
designation for where they were. I don't know if it was where they were produced or where they were minted. I'd have to look into that more to understand what that all means, but it's more prominent on the dollar bills. So like for instance, I don't think I have any, do I don't know if I have any dollar bills in here, but for instance, this one would be a K buck because it has that little K right there. So I probably, I won't go through all of the money that I have in here currently. It's just whatever money that I'm going to be putting aside specifically for the savings challenges, I'll go through that and put aside those J bucks to go into my giving first before I go through and put them into these challenges. So, and here's the... So on the on the five in the bigger denominations, like for instance, the fifty, this one is an I buck, this twenty is a B buck, the ten is an L buck, another L buck, and this one it's more prominent here on the dollar bills, and I believe the two about two dollar bills are like this as well. So this one is an F buck, but it is actually on all of the denominations. So I want to see how that goes for now, but also I wanted to tell you what I will be putting this towards for December. So November was the Animal Cancer, the Animal Cancer Foundation. For December, I'm going to put that towards Toys for Tots. I'm undecided at this point if I want to just do the donation to the company or if I want to actually buy the toys, maybe like at a Dollar Tree or something like that, and bring them someplace for like a, to a Toys for Tots donation box. I like the idea of doing it through, the, through my company because it gets matched dollar for dollar pretty much. So they'll get more out of it, but we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I just wanted to give you a quick update. So that's it for now. Until next time. Bye for now.